we are on the official documentation of pydentic and as you can see over here all the major organization in the world is using pydentic as the core development process in their backend like 14.9 star and 1.3k folk from this you can make out the popularity this package beholds now you may ask like what is pydentic and why it is so damn popular pydentic is mostly widely used for the data validation okay it is fast and very extensive i'll show you why people prefer pydentic over any other library over there because it is uh, the learning curve in pydentic is very less you can learn very quickly the core logic of pydentic is written in the rust so it is very faster than python it provides the json schema which is very helpful when we are uh, developing the swagger uh, documentation and everything so it can create this swagger documentation from there it is different different kind of feature in it and the inbuilt data class and type dict that the python has it is supported by the pydentic so we don't don't have to learn something new over there there are n number of customization that is that is provided by pydentic so we can use that and alter the data however we want and the ecosystem you may not believe that the um, the all the packages in, in python more than 8000 packages on pyp uses the pydentic in the background for the for the data validation over there including fast api the main the model that is created in fast api is built on the pydentic library over there Pyrenic is so popular that uh, over a month it is downloaded 70 million time and it is used by all the fine companies including 20 and 25 largest company over the Nasdaq. So from this you can make out that how important this Pyrenic library is for you to learn. <clears throat> so let's jump to the ID and start understanding how this Pyrenic works. The first and foremost thing that we will be doing over here is installing Pyrenic. Okay so let's copy um, pip install Pyrenic uh, let's paste it over here. It's already installed in my PC. So now let's start um, importing it. So import um, pydentic. Now let's define the user model. You model from pydentic dot my it's base model. Okay. Let's define the field. So let's have a username as one of the field and it is a string type. Now let's give um, an age which could be a int type. Then let's give it email ID. Um, we want to make email is an optional field. So what we'll do is uh, from typing, from typing import optional. We import optional over here. So optional, it will be a string type which can have the uh, by default value as none. Also, let's take the phone number field also. Phone underscore number. It will also a string. Let's take a boolean field. Is uh, is user active or not? is underscore active it will be bool field which has the by default value as false okay so we have defined the user model over here so as you can see over here this is string then int bool this is the type which we use in python this is the same type we have, which we are using in the pydentic over here to define the model okay so let's create the model now um so we'll be using user let's give username as lakshit then let's give age as um 27 oh no 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 not 27 sorry um it will be 26 27 is more than two months to go um that's it i think so so we'll define uh, object equal to user let's print object okay we'll see now by running okay python learning py so as you can see we got the user model and the data over here so let's uh, do something. Let's pass pydentic as string field, and we'll write. As you can see, it is working properly. So now you may wonder that uh, we have defined age as an integer field, but we are passing it as a string. Why it is working? It's because it the they are passing the value over here, not validating it. To validate properly, so what we'll do? We'll uh, use from um, pydentic pydentic import config dict. Okay. Config dict, uh, I'll tell you how it will work over here. Let's define config dict and strict equal to true. So by default, strict is uh, strict is always false over here. What does a strict tell is uh, <clears throat> what does strict tell that whatever field we have defined over here, it should be in that same manner over here. Okay. And this model config means um it is the overall configuration for all the field over here. Okay. So now let's run it again. So as you can see, it is giving an error over here. Okay. So this is how it works now if you want to uh, specify individual uh, level um now if you want to <clears throat> if you want to provide the configuration individual level so what we can do we'll take it field from here and we'll come over here then field over here we'll make it strict 
it will to false so now it will again to go to false and now it should again work same as it is so as you can see it is working properly okay so now uh, since we are defining the value over here but in the api level and everything we get the data into the json format which is uh, which, uh, which is typed into dictionary format so how we can pass the data into the dictionary format so what we'll do we'll provide some data and let's provide dictionary make dictionary over your username as lakshit and as we know our age which is 26 okay and we'll remove this part and over here we'll pass pass the dictionary in normal format conflict sorry 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 um star some data and we'll see run and as you can see it is working proper properly fine over here so now let's so now we have defined the model we have seen how this uh, field and everything work we will see how can we create the data so let's see like if we, uh, since we have created the data since we have created the data we are seeing it in the normal uh, model format so now how how <clears throat> so how can we get in the dictionary format so for that part we'll see object dot um model dumb and done and as you can see now we are getting the data into into the normal dictionary format so we can consume this data into, into the dictionary format now so now, so now let's try and add some validation over here so some validation is like we don't want our age to be greater than 30 so we'll do def validate so you can give any name over here validate age okay and now let's it will since it will be class method it will be a class method so we'll provide value over here and we'll see if value is greater than 30 we'll raise the um, value error which will be age cannot be greater than 30 okay now we need to provide two decorators over here one will be the class decorator and second will be the parenting decorator which will tell that uh, we want to apply validation on which field it will be an age field over here okay if it, everything is working properly we will return the normal value which as it is we will run it again so it is working perfectly fine because the age is 26 let's make it 31 now now when we run as we can see we are getting the error that age cannot be greater than 30 over here okay so this is the normal um, field val uh, validator we can provide now what if you want to get all the value and provide the validation on that what i mean is that we have two optional field phone number and email id what if we from both we want some of one of the field to be mandatory like from both one of the field should be there so for that what we'll do um, since we applied the uh, validation on a single uh, field over here now we'll be applying validation on all the field together so how we can apply that so well let's say def validate underscore email underscore phone it could be anything it will be class now it, we will get values okay so now we'll see if um email field this field if email uh in values since it will values will be dictionary uh, dictionary or phone uh, underscore number number in values okay if it is running properly uh, if it is there then everything is fine we don't want to do anything else if it is not there then we'll throw an error so it will return value if it is not there then we'll raise value error stating either uh, sorry either phone sorry for the spelling and everything email should be there okay so now we need to provide two decorators over here one will be the class method decorator and there will be parentic dot root validator pre equal to true it means that we will be provide uh, it will get all the values before only so now if you run we are getting an error that either phone or email should be there so now let's provide the phone number let's take this field and pass this value over here phone number let's provide any random phone number you can provide the value uh, you can do the validation on this also indentation sorry there is some problem in indentation yeah sorry yes okay let's comment this now again and run it again so as you can see we are getting the error over here either phone or uh, phone or email should be there let's provide phone number uh, what is an input should be a string type we go huh? this, this is also working properly since we are since we have told that phone number should be string type and we are passing the integer that's the reason it is giving error let's make it string so as you can see age greater than yeah sorry my bad i am 26 yes that's good that's look nice now 
Now, as you can, as you can see, everything is working properly fine over you. This is the normal parentic how it is. This is the very basic part of how how parentic work. You can define your model. You can do the validations and everything. You can provide. Uh, you can take data in different different format. So I hope you got to understand like how this parentic work and everything. If you want to understand parenting in depth in advanced format, so let me know in the comment section so I can make an uh, advanced video of parentic and you can uh, tell me what all thing you want in the advanced section so I can make video according to that only. Okay, if you got some information, if you find something useful, please uh, subscribe to my channel and press the like button. It helps me a lot and motivate me to make such videos for you. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.